Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we rescued the free lake spirit. Here, it's from Team Galactic. Hey, now? Uh, we, uh, we need to go after Team, G Team Galactic and Malcoronet. And to do so, you're best off coming to, to Heart Home City. Because for us to begin the climb at Mount Coronet, we can only approach from, from a certain direction. You cannot approach from from Ekertik or um, Celestic Town. By the way, even though we do have Surf, I am going to wait and Rock Climb. I'm going to wait until we have the hidden move for that before we do anything with it in this area. So yeah, we need to um, make our climb up Mount Coronet, and we can only start climbing Mount Coronet from either Heart Home or or um, or Orberg. Those are the only locations you can start your climb, as you have to head back to where you first met Cyrus. Over here, you can find a Dawnstone. Which, if you have like a, uh, a male Curlia, you can evolve it into uh, Gallade. Ooh! This is a rare encounter Cleffa! Cleffa can be found in Mount Coronet in the uh, bottom floors of it. Here and uh, up where Egertik and Celestic is, it's a rare encounter. Uh, although it is more a little bit more common if you hunt for it during the morning. But yeah, what's a pain in the ass about it though is that if you're planning on raising one, uh, you cannot find moon. Um, you cannot find a moonstone randomly, like you can with the other items. Its silhouette is like a star. It is believed to arrive riding on shooting stars. So yeah. Um, unlike all the other evolutionary items, where we found one laying around somewhere, the moonstone is the one exception. You either have to get a moonstone from a Cleffa. So, and I think Cleffa has like, I think a 7% chance of holding one. And, or you have to be lucky and find one randomly in the underground when you're digging. So if you're planning on raising that particular line to get yourself a Clefable, you can... Trust me, um, it's a pain in the ass. As to get yourself a moonstone in this game. So we need to rock climb up there. Now I've always had. Now I'm gonna walk. As I was saying, I was gonna walk because for some reason in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, I've always had trouble with that with that spot. In the original Diamond Pearl, because of the grid movement, I had no problem. But here, for some reason, you can. Overshoot. Ugh. I'm never going to start my climb up Mount Coronet, am I? Let's try this again. There we go. Apparently running is the answer. And as soon as I get up, I have an encounter. I'm not interested in you, Jew dude. Especially since you're nowhere near a level where I want to fight you for experience. Uh, 
Uh, I could have sworn that rock had a- Oh, come on! Okay. I like that it's a clever. Because they are rare. But come on. The exact same spot. I would at least like to get a little further up the mountain before I start running into Pokemon. Here we go, now we're in new sections of the mountain. Also find a hidden item here. So now we should be encountering some Pokemon, uh, some higher level Pokemon. Pokemon I might actually battle for experience. Here's an escape rope, useful if you need to make a quick escape out of here to go heal. This is the only downside is... Ah, now I remember what you are. Because this will lead to a rock climbable wall. gets us this item. A bottle of iron. Ooh, Koshi has something. Nice. I'll climb back up and let's head back inside. Here we can get the TM Rock Slide. Good rock type move right there. Now we're gonna start encountering Bronzo on the regular here. As you can see, it's level 36, much better than the, than the what was it, level 16s that we were seeing? This is the floor below us. Ooh, sweet, a revive. This is something I should mention. Um, because of the climb in Mount Cornet, I recommend stocking up on like some healing items. Uh, if you've been growing berries, um, the Lepa Berry would also be good here because you can restore your Pokemon's PP because you are going to be getting into fights. And there's no easy way to come back up the mountain if you need to leave to go heal. Heal at a Pokemon Center. So I would recommend you stocking up on various healing items, revives, pretty much make sure you're ready for this climb. Because there will be wild Pokemon here, and as you can guess, as we go further up the mountain, as you can clearly see, we're going to start running into Team Galactic. We grunts have been assigned two noble jobs. One, to ensure the success of our operations at the summit. And two, to utterly destroy anyone who dares and fears. Let's take them on. As you can guess, Team Galactic is setting up one last defense to try and stop us. So let's make our way up. Up and knock out any Team Galactic we see. I don't accept this. I will not accept this. Join Team Galactic and then abide by our rules. 
that would have solved all our problems. Our time has come! It's Team Galactic's time now! We'll see about that. Goshi blasted in the face with a shadow ball. When's it gonna be my turn? It's too late. No amount of desperation from a kid like you will make it will make a difference. Here we are on the higher parts of the mountain. Um now there are some Pokemon you can find here. On Mount Coronet. Um, I don't think you're the way up. Yeah, because we need Sir. Uh, we need Sir. We need um, Waterfall to access what's there. So, uh, if I remember to come back here, we'll see what's up that waterfall. Blast you with a psychic. And of course, you had sturdy. <laughs> it blows itself up. I'm curious, what is Graveler using to blow up? Like, if it's self destructing, what is Graveler using in its body to cause itself to blow up? Like, does it have, like, explosive minerals in its body or something like that that it's using? Right, but we can come up here and get ourselves a free Ultra Ball. And a random encounter. Now, I will apologize if there's a bit of back and forth here at Mount Coronet, because I do want to try and fight all the Team Galactic runs, and there's one room that you can miss that's filled with missable uh, Galactic runs. And I don't remember the layout of Mount Coronet uh, very well. Anyway, up here we can get ourselves a nugget, a hidden nugget. Now, there are a few Pokemon you can find up here. Um, I know Bomb of Snow can be found up here and... Is it in this, is it in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl or is it in Pokemon Platinum that I'm thinking of that you can find both picks up here? I know there's a few Pokemon you can find up here. Wait, now we have a count bronze on. Which has a very nice looking shiny shiny that, that I recently caught in Pokemon Legends. Legends in my own time. Yeah, raise your defenses, because that ain't gonna save you. Oh yeah, you're at really low health now. I'll try and capture you so we, a way we can learn about you in our Pokedex. One, two, three, click. Cushy reached level 52. Once caused by a media, once caused a media storm when it was dug up at a construction site after a 2,000 year, year sleep.
and a midi jam. All right, Koshi just leveled up. I should switch her out. Oh, I'm glad you're waiting for me to come up with a great strategy. Here's my strategy. Two, three. Send it to the box. Um. Squid. Oh, wait. Nope. Put you in the lead. Continue our climb. Our time will come. A time only for only us. I'm gonna turn back your time to a time before Pokemon. We'll see about that. Brings out a duck stock. Nothing that Fuji can't freeze. Bring in the hail. Give it a nice punch. Incoming another dust ducks. This one will also get punched in the face. Oh, these dust ducks are apparently worth a lot of experience. Ah, uh, fine. He has something else. A gold bat. This Golbat is a goner. Wow, Fuji's already close to a level up. Guy! You can struggle all you want, but you can't stop Team Galactic alone. It doesn't matter how many Pokemon you try to use as your tools. I don't use Pokemon as tools, buddy. Team Galactic is all powerful. If only a fool would show, de show defiance to the mighty Team Galactic. Got a skunky. Now let's ice punch you in the face. And of course you had aftermath. Oh, you're so close to a level, Fuji. Well, we're gonna have Frozen Bat. Punch! Oh, Fuji and Hideyoshi leveled up. Fuji's level 52 and Fuji's level 53.
Not standing up to the Almighty he is foolish, you you say. It doesn't matter if you're an adult or a kid, if you have Pokemon. Pokemon are equalizers. I should have realized sooner. Come down here. Ooh. It's actually the way out. Get an escape rope. Alright. This room here, I know for a fact, has Team Galactic grunts that you can entirely skip. This is our final operation. No one will interfere. Here's a Golbat that Trace is gonna utterly set. And of course it had an inner focus, so it couldn't be intimidated. Zap it away! Chris grew level 53. You turn the tables on me! I call interference! The closer you are to the peak, the closer you are to space. Soon, Team Galactic will... Um... Team Galactic will, ach will achieve greatness! We'll see about that. I think we'll end things off here in the next episode. We'll fight off what remaining Team Galactic grunts there are on our climb up to the summit. If you liked this episode, then smash that like button. I greatly appreciate your guys' love and support. Leave a comment down below, as I would love to hear your guys' eyes, eyes thoughts on this episode. Subscribe if you haven't already, and share the video so that way more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. Oh, I greatly appreciate your guys' love and support. Later.